once again, a weird Cracker Barrel. We had the sign that you couldn't park between 12 and 8, but the parking lot was full again, like our last experience at Cracker Barrel. And it was kind of a joint parking lot between the Cracker Barrel and a hotel of some kind. I don't see a name on it. It's a Holiday Inn Express hotel. So I thought maybe that would increase our chances of getting a knock, but like Audrey said, there were easily a dozen other rigs and vans. So whatever, we made it. So an official good morning, you guys. Welcome to our channel if you're new here. Good morning. We're uh, on the road in St. Petersburg, Florida, and this morning we're heading to a park for breakfast, and then we're gonna be off to explore the city of St. Petersburg. So as is our normal style, we check the map and look for little parks, and we found this one. It's got the lake right in the middle of it. You can park right along the road, and we'll have a view of the lake. Before we pick a parking spot, we're trying to scope out, see if there's any bathrooms here in the park. Kind of important for van life. Everybody's playing pickleball this morning. I don't see any. So it looks like there aren't any bathrooms, so we're just gonna find a spot with a view of the water, and then we're gonna head for a bathroom a little later, I think. Getting ready to make some breakfast. And Audra finds herself squeezed into the cat litter area <laughs> trying to get access to our delta battery so she can charge up her camera battery which is very important you got it Ow. <laughs> oh man what a dumb design thanks echo ego flow delta all right well that's taken care of I got my camera battery charging. We're bringing, we're using about 40 to 50 watts between that and the fridge. We're at about 75%-ish charge first thing in the morning. So I think we're doing all right. Now on to other things. I know it's for breakfast. Steve's favorite food. Corned beef hash dog food. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Just the worst egg cracker opener. Bang, 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 bang. I get the job done. Dog food's ready. Mmm. <laughs> Shout out to our friends, uh, Teresa and Veda, who also like corned beef hash. So we like to talk about some of the benefits of van life. One of them is certainly this. Just picking a park out on the map, driving over to it for breakfast, and then we get these just delightful surprises. Like it's so cool that this little lake has white pelicans and these ducks and everything else. So it's a great spot to have our breakfast. So here at Steve and Audra, we try to be open and honest and full disclosure. Not everything is roses and peaches and cream. <laughs> 
we have our problems. Um, the latest of which is our foot pump. Something is not right. It goes from sucking too much air and air comes gushing out of the faucet to now it's, as you can see, but a trickle when we use the pump. And I cannot figure it out. I even put better minds on it, like Audra. <laughs> and she also cannot figure it out. It's a pretty basic system. It's a simple in and out. Um, so maybe there's something stuck in the faucet itself, although it's just water. So I don't know. I guess the silver lining is you're definitely not going to waste water. The setup is super simple, so it just doesn't make sense. Like there's the basic, basic foot pump, the pipe that goes to the faucet, then the pipe or tube, and then the tube that goes, how is it? What's the setup? There's a tube that goes to your supply tank to the foot pump, from the foot pump, to the faucet. Right. So, and then as, obviously, as you pump the foot pump, it draws water from your supply tank and pushes it out through your faucet. Super simple. Maybe there's something wrong with the faucet. Never, ever in our lives had anything go wrong with a faucet, have we? Except yeah. for, like, maybe after, like, 20 years or something <laughs> that has been in a house. And then... I don't know, maybe the foot pump has gone bad, but that seems really weird too, because that's super basic. So, I don't know. It's a little frustrating, but it's not like we need that much water, and we use water jugs for drinking and for some other things. But something we're trying to figure out. So if you have any ideas, let us know. wanting to visit this garden for a long time. I'm very excited. You know what this means? We're going to see some flamingos. All right, so this is the sunken garden. Um, I'm not sure how old it is, but it's a historic landmark. The man who started this, this actually used to be a lake. He drained the lake so he had really rich soil to do plantings and then his neighbors enjoyed it so much that they would all come see and he started charging a nickel admission and then years later just recently not too long ago i guess the city bought it and now it's open to the public and now instead of the nickel it's 15 dollars a person if you like botanical gardens like i do and you want a way to save money you can actually join oftentimes your local garden and with that comes a membership to a reciprocal program where you can get into gardens throughout the country for free. Not all of them, but there's a lot. So that's what we're doing today. It was 15 a person, so that's $30. We only paid 65 for our annual membership. So we'll be saving a lot this year. This might be what we're smelling. We're sm smelling something really good that smells like orchids. And incidentally, this is actually an orchid tree. For once, it's not me that smells. Delightful. I hear flamingos. I think I could stay here all day. Just watching these guys.
Audra, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hmm, I think so. Tough to resist an open dance floor. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> up on your history lesson? Mm -hmm. What are you learning? It was opened in 1903. There it is. <laughs> Be good. I loved the Sunken Gardens. I definitely give it five vans. That's my official rating. Uh, we had some playtime. Now it's off to do some work at the library. And then later we'll show you around more of St. Petersburg. I also agree with the five van rating. It was a beautiful day, sunshine. I especially loved the Flamingo Garden part of it. Um, it was just beautiful. Uh, it was fun just to watch the flamingos doing their little dance. and. So yeah, it was a beautiful time, but now it's time to put in the work. So this 
this as a really great bike trail, a really great place to bike, which we would be doing if we weren't running out of daylight. But it's a little after five already. The sun sets at around 6.15, I think. So we're just gonna walk for a while. We'll maybe bike another time here. So, Audra tells me that this is supposed to be art, but I'm not fooled in the least. I think somebody wanted to build batting cages and then got almost done, and then the town said, no, you can't do that. You gotta turn it into art. <laughs> she studied historical postcards of the pier in Spa Beach, then began to sketch patterns inspired by the colorful parasols which dotted the sand in the early 1900s. Uh, here there it is. You go. She really wanted to build batting cages, but <laughs> this town said you can't do it, so she had to pretend that it was art. <laughs> Look how cute those shadows are, <laughs> holding hands. On the pier you can get a great view of the Tampa skyline that way and then the St. Petersburg skyline that way and that way is especially nice here at sunset. Now we're off to buy some groceries at an Aldi and then find an ultimate place to sleep tonight. Well, we think St. Petersburg is a neat little city. There's a lot more you could do here, but we only allotted one day to, to spend time and do things. Um, there's a free looper trolley to get around. There's great bike paths, lots of restaurants, museums, lots of things to do. But we're gonna keep on moving. So we found a Cracker Barrel that's a little bit closer to what we wanna do tomorrow. However, we were driving through town and we got a feel that you probably could find on-street parking. Uh, there seemed to be some other vans here and there. and yeah, If you're in just, a van like us. Just an opportunity to, to do that if you wished. Uh, it just kind of worked out for us again that uh, Cracker Barrel was on our way to our next desti destination. So we decided, why not? Yeah, but maybe in the future when we come back here, we'll try some uh, on-street parking. Yeah. And because cracker barrels aren't always in the most convenient spot, but this one was on the way for our, our next destination. So now we're going to work on editing our next video. We hope to see you next time. 
We always love hearing from you, so please drop us a comment below. Let us know you're watching. And we'll see you next time. See ya. I agree. I also give it a 5 van rating. I especially like the flamingos. It was a perfect spot today, perfect temperature, sun, sun. Okay, one more try. Thank you.